He's made an address before Parliament's newly established Justice and Correctional Services Committee. Ronald Lamola says two key appointments at the NPA give him renewed hope in the fight against corruption. They are Shamila Batoy as NPA head and Hermione Crenier to lead the investigative directorate. In particular, the investigative directorate will pursue all matters that emanate from the commissions of inquiries, namely the SARS Commission of Inquiry, the PIC Commission of Inquiry, and the Commission of Inquiry into Allegations of State Capture. Regulations for a special tribunal of the Special Investigating Unit will also be published soon to recoup money looted from the state. But there are constraints, namely resources and a moratorium on appointments. The NPA has a 20% vacancy rate. So within the department we had to look at creative ways of how do we help the NPA uh, at this current uh, conjunction. And one of the things was to look at some of the interventions that must, must help them to find some money to deal with the current uh, special investigating unit. If I'm not mistaken, it's about 7 million that they've been able to find before the next medium term budget speech because they can't wait. Lamola is also currently having to consider around 300 parole applications. He says the 37% overcrowding in prisons is a challenge to providing a safe and secure environment for the country's more than 162,000 inmates. Lindsay Dentlinger, Parliament.